so you can see there is no short circuits anywhere different angle okay so that's how you do it power on on the pin on top and the one at the bottom that's your ground from the second row we're talking about the second plug from the right from right to left second plug second row from uh and then from right from right to left one two three four on the on on the fifth one that we're going to show what the what the tools are uh that are needed to complete a program uh, this this type of programming okay uh these are no dealer tools i mean these are aftermarket uh tools and what we're going to do we're actually going to clone uh this pcm actually the, this is the the donor this is the um uh, this is not the original pcm uh i already read uh, the the other pcm and i have the file saved I'm not going to do that so we don't have to so we don't waste uh, time on that but um you hook it up pretty much the same so we read the other one now we're going to proceed to program this computer with the information from the other one and the reason why i'm doing this is because uh, a lot of people don't know that this can be done and uh this is an option that you can um that you can do whenever you run into a situation where you have to replace uh, a PCM on a BMW. This is for a BMW uh, vehicle. Uh, it's a Siemens, uh, this is a Siemens MS45.1. So for this uh, type of programming, we're gonna use uh, this tool uh, made by uh, uh, Tech. This is called uh, CAS3. And the software is what we have on this screen. So the way you do this, you gotta select the type of computer that you have so for this one we're not going to go by uh we're not going to go by um by vehicle well at the end we're going we're, we're going to have to uh but right here we're going to select our computer we uh which is uh the ms45 and this is the type of connection that you're going to do for all of them uh it's that type of connection so it doesn't matter which which one you select from here they're all the same so being this a five series uh, vehicle, we're just gonna click on this. And these are the options available for this particular PCM on this particular tool. So we're gonna select it. Uh, once we open it, we're gonna click on this one to see the uh, the instructions on how to connect uh, the PCM. The, I'm talking about the wiring that I, that we have set up already, and you gotta follow this. Um, you gotta follow these directions. So this is not that complicated. You just gotta solder um, some wires into it. This is the pad. This is the part of the PCM where you gotta uh, solder the uh, those wires. Okay, and we're gonna see how you get it done. So pin number one is gonna be at the bottom. Can you zoom into this? Pin number one is gonna be bottom left corner if you have it in this position. And you gotta solder them like this. From the second one, it's gonna be blue. Third, the fourth one on the bottom row, it's gonna be brown on the top. Uh, the second one from the left, it'll be one, two, it'll be green. Three, you don't, uh, you, you, you skip that one. Four, uh, that's um, the purple one. And then the gray, the gray wire. Let me see if I can, I always do inspections with this soft one. And let's see if you can zoom into that. I know uh, those wires are a little bit longer than um, really comfortable with but I already checked this there is no short circuits all right that's so you can see there is no short circuits anywhere different angle okay so that's how you do it gray purple just keep one and then green and at the bottom we have brown on the second pin from the uh, from the right so it'll be first second it'll be brown third you skip that one and you hook up your blue wire on the fourth one. So that's for the connection on the board. On the connector, 
try not to move this so much. On the connector, <coughs> we have. I'm gonna have to lift it up. Power on. On the pin on top, and the one at the bottom. That's your ground. Now over here. From the second row, we're talking about the second plug from the right from right to left. Second plug, second row from uh, and then from right from right to left. One, two, three, four on the on on the fifth one. That's where you hook up uh, your other power. Um, so this computer, this uh, board is ready to be read. Uh, instructions on how to hook up the uh, power are here, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, and then this one all the way to the top and all the way to the left. That's another uh, power, and right underneath, that's another ground. So that's how you hook it up, right? Uh, we're gonna close this and move over to the um, to the software. Number one, what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, identify the ECU. And this is what people do when they uh, when they say that they clone computers. Um, this is the same process you gotta follow when when people's gonna um, tune anything. Uh, they're gonna remap uh, a uh, the software. This is what they do. Uh, okay. So on this one, we're gonna clone it, right? And should I? Read? Yeah, let me read. Um, I'm gonna read the backup and I'm gonna save it just because you gotta do it every time. I mean, um, it's something that we do every time. I mean, I've done some other videos talking about uh, reading data on EEPROMs and microcontrollers, and that's what you should do every time. So, although it's gonna take a a couple seconds here, not a big deal, nothing that we cannot wait for it. So what the software is doing is actually reading uh, the EEPROM and the flash from from the microcontroller, uh, the microcontroller, which is on the other side of this board. Okay, uh, software is gonna ask if we wanna save it, and we're gonna say yes. Uh, we're gonna save this under the following name, donor. Um, I have them saved on this particular folder. 2003 BMW actually I think it's a, I think it's a 2005 but that's not relevant uh, so we're just gonna click uh, save it as donor we're gonna save the file and we're gonna say yes to save uh, the file separately what it what what it what that does it saves um, your micro your flash your EEPROM all of them in separate in separate um, in separate files so we're we're gonna clone this computer, and it gives you these uh, two options. Uh, one of them will be to read the other computer that you're gonna uh, clone from, or just to upload the file. And if you have a file already, that's what you select. And we have a file, and it's this one right here. So that's my original file. That's the one I read uh, previously before we did uh, the video. We're gonna hit open. It says to connect the ECU to be cloned, which we have already. We select it and we wait. For anyone wondering what it takes to read uh, one of these computers, that's that's what it takes. There is there there are different tools. Not only this one. There are uh, many different ones that you can find online. Uh, I always worked with um, with this company. I've been working with them for quite a while. Uh, I had uh, the Cast 2 when they, when this, now this is a single unit. 
in the past these used to be uh, two different units one of them was um, cast uh, cast 2 and the other one was k tag um, now they put both of them on the single one it's it's just one device And it didn't want to do. I'm gonna attempt to do it again. All right, didn't want to do it, so I'm just gonna do the EEPROM, which will be the original EEPROM, which will be this file right here. Okay, now we're going to select the micro. I think that the flash is the one that we couldn't do. Uh, which is micro. So that could be the original NPC. Alright, so that completes the cloning of this uh, computer. Uh, we programmed it with a different uh, file. Uh, now we, uh, we can disconnect, um, we can disconnect this PCM and uh, clean up uh, the pads in there so we can return it to the customer. Uh, I'd recommend to put a little bit of flux in here. Then disconnect the power and grounds. We're gonna retouch those those pads. Making sure there's no breaches in there. Put it there for that one. Good, and then inspect the pins in the front. One uh, towards the second, the second plug. One, two, three, four, five. Looks good, and they look good. Okay, so you gotta inspect uh, where you solder and the pins that you where you, where you connect them. Make sure they're not bent, because um, that will cause some other issues. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. This is what it takes to clone a computer.
uh, especially when you're dealing with uh, used computers. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.